Hi everyone and welcome to this feature tutorial video here on the BK Golf Clash YouTube channel. If you are new here, a very warm welcome to you. I would be most grateful if you could all hit the thumbs up button and become a subscriber if you're not subscribed already. It's totally free to do so. Please remember to check out the rest of my content on the channel homepage, including plenty of other tutorials to help you improve in Golf Clash. In this video, I will be guiding you through and showcasing the collection album feature in the game. I'll be explaining what it is, teaching you how to use it, and also be talking about how it can benefit you as you progress through the game. We'll also be looking at the brilliant special reward ball that you can gain by using this feature. If you want to skip ahead or indeed go back to any sections of this video, you can find timestamps in the description box down below. The collection album is accessed via the golf bag menu at the bottom of the game screen. Now we're going to take a look at that now. So I've clicked on golf bag, which is the one to the left of the home icon. Then I'm clicking on the balls tab in the middle up at the top. You'll then see a button at the top right corner, which will take you directly to the album screen. So let's have a look at that right now. So premium balls in the game have been organized into generations with generation one being the very first special balls that were available in the game all those years ago. Each generation will contain 20 balls. Now these include premium balls only, so not your Titan or your Kingmaker, and they exclude any licensed or branded balls. Now, if you own or have owned any of the balls listed, you'll see they're displayed with that green coloured surround around the ball and the name. That means that they have been collected. Any that you don't own are then, of course, displayed in grey. You can look at all of the generations in the game by scrolling left and right at the bottom of the screen. And you can see here in this example, we've got all the way from 1 to 20. Now, when you collect all 20 balls in one generation, you will see uh, the box for that generation page will turn red. Uh, this means you have a reward available, and I'll show you what happens. And it says, congratulations, all of your generation, in this example, 18 balls have been collected. You've earned five neutron balls. Now, these are special reward balls that can only be gained by using this feature, and they have excellent attributes. Let's take a look at the neutron ball now. Here is the Neutron Ball, Power 4, Precision 4, Side Spin 4, Wind Resistance 4. So it's a fantastic all-round ball. It's going to be really useful regardless of whether you're playing Tour Play, Checkpoint Challenge or Tournament. So, and as you can see there, alongside Power 4, you've got plus 3 Needle Stability. So a load of excellent attributes there, four of them, and all of them at uh, level 4. So plenty of extras uh, to work with on your shots. But like I said, you've got that maximum amount of steadiness on your needle with the plus three needle stability. So even here, you can see I'm just looking at the ball, centering it in the adjustment ring to check the size. Even at full OP, at max rest or near to it, it's a good chance of hitting perfect. It shakes a little bit, but you've got precision four as well. So if you are needing you to push your shots to max, you've got a very good chance of nailing a perfect ball here with the neutron ball. So how do you complete your collections on each generation page? Well, if you are missing some balls from a generation, you can buy generation chests at any time. Now these can be purchased in the album screen, but also found in the shop menu. And you can see the picture there on screen. Now the highest generation chest you can buy will be shown here. And that is based on how many tours you've unlocked. But if you wish to buy older generation chests, then these can still be purchased on the album screen. You simply scroll left and right on the album page to the one that you need. Now, each generation chest will contain 20 balls, comprising of four different ones from that particular page. So you get five of each. And as you can see there on the screenshot, each ball from generation three, in this case, has an equal chance of being found. There will always be four different balls in each chest. So I really like the flexibility and range you have in terms of purchasing the different balls. Even though there's a slightly random element, there are lots of very useful balls from over the years. So there's a very good chance of getting some valuable additions to your inventory to help you in all aspects of your game play. Obviously, the green button here 
will show the price of the chest depending on the country or territory that you're in. It's blanked out here as this is from a demonstration version. Now the next element of this feature is the prestige levels. Now there are three levels of prestige which you can reach with every ball in the album and that's bronze, silver and gold. Prestige levels are reached every time you use a ball. So clicking on the uh, question mark icon in the top left of the album screen will bring up this little info box to explain the levels. So using a ball 10 times gets you to bronze level, 50 times to silver and 200 times to gold. And it's on a one to one basis. So one ball used gives you one prestige progress. Visual effects and a special ball trail are added once you get to each level with each ball. We're gonna have a look at that now. So in this example, I'm using a ball here, which has a bronze level prestige. You can see the spin screen there is colored accordingly. There's a ball glow around uh, the circumference of the ball on the ground. And there you can see now, once I've hit the ball, you get that bronze colored ball trail once the shot has been taken. Obviously for a silver prestige, you get a silver effect and then gold for the gold level as well. So that's a little visual addition. Now, as you can see in the top right corner of this screen, which is your collection album screen, when you reach each level on all of the balls in one generation, you are awarded more neutron balls as a prize. So we've seen you get five neutron balls just for collecting every ball. If you've got them all at bronze, then you're gonna get 10 neutron balls, 20 if they're all at silver, and if you've used a load of them and they're all at gold level prestige, you are going to receive another 50 neutron balls. You can also keep a tab on your prestige level in the ball screen. And there's now an option incorporated into the ball sorter in that first field there, displaying by prestige level. And you can see the gold, silver and bronze icons just beneath where you would pin the ball. So you can keep a track on your prestige level in the ball screen as well. Now we're going to delve into another part of this feature and you might be wondering, well, how is this going to benefit me? Well, in my competitive days, I bought a good amount of bundles. Sometimes months down the line after making a purchase, I realised I didn't quite have the need for certain balls or I just wasn't using them. Now, there's a great way of using up your surplus stock and you can convert them, which will help you progress towards receiving more neutron balls as a reward. Now, we can convert balls into prestige progress, but also generation tokens. Now we're gonna look at prestige progress first. As I explained earlier, if you're using a ball in the game, the ratio is one to one. However, if you've got ball stock that you know you are not gonna use, you can convert them into prestige progress. Now the second page of that help box we were looking at earlier explains this. As you can see, you get double the amount of prestige from converting balls directly as opposed to using them in a game. So if I was to convert 10 balls, I'd get 20 prestige progress rather than 10 if I was playing 10 matches. So it's a much quicker way of getting those prestige levels. Now, in this video, I've decided to trade in some old blue marble balls, power four, side spin three, wind one, not particularly useful really in today's game. I know I'm not gonna use them. So I've decided to trade in a good number of them. So I'm selecting the ball from the album and you can see there's a slider there. I can, you know, pick how many I want really. I need to convert five balls into 10 prestige to reach bronze. So I hit the convert button, gives me a message to make sure that I'm okay with doing what I'm gonna do, permanently convert. So my stock has gone from 100 down to 95, but I've got bronze prestige. The same thing from bronze to silver. Again, I can move that slider. It will tell me how much prestige progress I'm making for the amount of balls that I'm converting. And then I do the same process again. So if you've got used, uh, you've got some stock that you're not gonna use, then this is a way that you can increase. So again, here uh, I could get rid of the remaining 70 if I wanted to and end up with 140 prestige progress uh, or I could, you know, use a lot less. It's all up to you and you've got that slider there to um, choose how many balls you want to convert. Now we're going to touch on generation tokens because what if you've reached gold prestige and you've still got balls of that particular type that you want to get rid of? You can still convert them, 
but instead of prestige progress, they will, providing you're at gold level, become generation tokens. As you can see, I'm at gold with the touchdown balls. I'm not going to use any more. So then I'm going to convert these into generation one tokens. So there you see I'm moving the slider, picking the amount of balls that I want to convert. And you can see that info screen there. Generation tokens are earned once you've reached gold prestige and you continue to use your surplus stock. So I'm moving the slider. I've got 170 of these touchdown balls. Maybe I'll keep 30 of them back. So in the end, I decide 140 is what I'm going to get rid of. And then I'm going to have 140 Generation 1 tokens. Now, remember, those are only valid for that particular generation. You couldn't then use those tokens for Generation 5. It's only going to be on that one. But once I've got those tokens, I can then use them on other balls. So if I want to maybe get my prestige level up on these eyeballs, I can manipulate both sliders. So one is controlling how much ball stock I want to convert, and the other one is controlling how many tokens, how many generation tokens I want to use. And you can mix and match. So I could just convert 10 generation tokens into the prestige, and then I'm at already at the bronze level there. Or I could have a combination. I could use some generation tokens and some balls as well. So you can tailor how much you want to kind of convert and how much surplus ball stock you think you've got and that you want to convert into generation tokens that you can use elsewhere to progress through your prestige levels. And as a result, of course, gain more neutron balls. Now, an important point to raise here, uh, especially for more established players, is that these are used retroactively. So your historic ball usage is automatically factored in. So you don't need to spend 200 balls from the day this feature went live if you've got stuff in your collection from years ago. If you've already used a load of a certain ball in the past, before this feature started, they will already be counted towards your prestige progress. So, final thoughts. Although I realise this feature may not benefit those that are completely free to play, for me it offers good incentives for players that may have bought bundles in the past and have some stock that they know they're just not going to use. With the features here, they can now convert them into something useful with this Neutron Ball. And like I said, it's valid really for a load of game modes. And it's most likely going to outperform a lot of old stock that you may have gathering dust on your accounts. You may also have only bought certain bundles for the gems, so this may appeal to you in that scenario as well. I also like that it's a chance for newer players to collect older stock, including some of those lower stack combinations that maybe aren't sold as regularly now, considering we have big combinations of attributes that are much higher than they used to be. Now we've got top spin, back spin boost, and precision. As we know, there are many different collectors in the world. Golf Clash is no exception. I think a lot of viewers here will at some point have collected something in life, whether it be trading cards, stamps, or a load of classic cars, you name it. So it's nice to have a sense of nostalgia in the game. Now, even if you just enjoy looking back at the balls that have been on sale in the past. Now, finally, some people purposely used to keep one ball of everything they ever owned as a record of their collection, which, you know, as a consequence, kind of clutters up your equipment screen in the game. Now you can convert these, even if it's only one. At least they would disappear, but still you'd have a record of having owned them in your album screen. I hope you found this uh, collection album tutorial useful. I want to know your thoughts on the features, so please leave me a comment, let me know what you think about it, and don't forget to check out the rest of the content on the channel homepage. Thank you very much for watching, and all the best for your progress and games in Golf Clash. Take care. Bye for now.